Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Today I'm going to talk you through my solve of today's Times Crossword and uh, here it is beginning now. One across I found quite difficult. Northerner initially moaning, that looks like the letter M, on beds in sick bay. I didn't really know what to make of that. Sick looked like an anagram indicator to me. Two down also, I'm going to just pause here. Um, actually, I'll just go back a second. How do we do that? Let's go back there and pause on two down. Also, quite a long clue here, which suggests that there's going to be a lot of separate bits of wordplay involved, and that is going to make finding the wordplay hard. And as I've said before, what I'm looking to do at the start of the puzzle is to find some fairly easy and obvious wordplay. So these aren't great clues. I did dwell on them both for a little bit, thinking that I might stumble on what they were getting at. Fellow Selig originally idolised around mountain estate. Well, originally, like initially in one across, normally means the first letter of one of the words on either side of it. But I was thinking, do I know a mountain estate that's 5-4? Uh, Tamil Nadu occurred, but I don't think it's actually mountainous. And I couldn't think of what the answer might be. It does look like mountainous state would be the definition, but I'm afraid I moved on again from that and couldn't solve three down either in Times article following first of wreath lectures. Um, again, first of wreath looks like the letter R, but there wasn't much to go on. So I moved on to four down. Finally, here here is some fairly straightforward wordplay. Meany, infirm is erratic. Well, if you look in the words, firm is erratic, what's joining them is a five-letter word that can be a meany. So the answer to that is miser. And jumped on to five down but couldn't do that. I wasn't sure whether the dot, dot, dot was going to mean I needed to refer back to the meany or or miser in four down. It turns out not. But this M at the start did give me an idea about one across. And uh, I could now think of a northerner, because this could now end in man. And uh, there's one fairly obvious British northerner who would fit. And he's got beds in, cots, and a sick bay outside, a san. So cots on M in san gives us Scotsman at one across. I actually thought about that having just moved off the clue, but there we go. Now I can see that five down, the definition is and not, and that gives us nor, which is half of nor. Now ten across, fairly straightforward wordplay again, five hyphen five. Former language, Bohr's actor, when translated. Well, Bohr's actor, it's hard to imagine how you'd be using the meanings of those words in this clue. So, happily, they make ten letters, they've got an S and an R in, when translated, could be functioning as an anagram indicator. So, it looks like we're looking for an anagram of Bohr's actor to be a former language. I don't know why Serbo-Croat is a former language, maybe it doesn't exist in that form anymore. I think the Serbs don't get on with the Croatians enough to enjoy the common language. 11 across, an anagram of Leningrad's, and now we can see that two down, with its slightly convoluted vocabulary, is indeed fellow celeb is co-star, which is quite a clever bit of wordplay, like that. Um, initially idolised is an I, and then around is CA, not CDs, I've typed at the moment, but CA for circa. And that gives us Costa Rica, which I wouldn't have known was a particularly mountainous state, but it's certainly a state. Now I can see that Three down in times, article following first of wreath lectures is R for first of wreath, article is A, and tides is the times. And four down, bird from south, currently settled on Taylor's iron. Well, currently is now, and south is S, so that gives us snow. With the G following that, you might think of snow goose anyway. But I believe a goose is an old word for a tailor's of iron. That's the sort of thing that, a little bit recherche perhaps. Seven down. Article Irish left in travel complex. Well, as we saw in three down, article can be A or an. But A and then IR for Irish. And I'm thinking air and then L for left. Presumably it looks like airline or air link travel complex and that made me realize that um, 
left isn't the letter L this time. It's the left that an airline pilot or a sea captain would use, port. So we get airport at seven down. Couldn't do eight down immediately. City given prestigious award, I'm surprised. I was thinking city must be EC, but that was wrong. So I had a look at six across. Now, a bit of general knowledge helpful here. Reportedly observe, well, that looks like we've got C, there's something that sounds like C, so that gives us SEA is the first part of this phrase. And intimidate marine mammal. So the rest of it is intimidate, and the whole thing's a marine mammal. Or the dugong or manatee, I think, can both be known as a sea cow, and to cow can mean to intimidate. So that's the answer there. And then jumping on to nine across, the old ruler is a tsar. Now be careful, that can be spelled with a T or a C, but it's S in rat reversed. And now the city, given the prestigious award, is um, Omaha is defining the city, is defined by city rather. The prestigious award is OM, the order of merit, and aha is I'm surprised with an exclamation mark. Fair enough. And then that's going to lead us on to 13 across, where the clue is um, C about getting artists involved in examination. Well, artist is normally RA, Royal Academician, and one of the uh, short synonyms for C is low, L-O, as in biblical low. And uh, that gives us oral when you reverse the low and put the artist inside. Sheriff's officer at 14 across. Sheriff's officer spat furiously, so that's an anagram of spat during, during, meaning inside, argument, a short word meaning argument. And this is a bit of an obscure one, tip staff. Now what's quite clever there is for once a compiler hasn't clued tip staff as to tip your staff. He's instead found a breakdown of it that you don't often see. Um, 16 across, expenditure not in place. Well, you have to break this one up carefully. Expenditure is the definition. Not in is the first part of the wordplay, and place is the rest. So that gives us out, not in, and lay for place. That gives us outlay for expenditure. 18 across, seasoned food. We're well, thinking salami immediately. And girl is sow with Ami, the friend in Paris. I don't know any girls called sow. I wonder if you do. 20 across, want son to entertain the French, that's uncalled for, or want can be need, son is the letter S, and if you put those bits around les, the plural of the in French, you get needless, which is uncalled for. So now we've got some help for the down answers, and 12 down begins early childhood, those letters immediately suggest infancy, and indeed I suspect is I fancy you just have to include the introductory letter of neighbours to get that. And then um, 15 down is man after a vote. Well, a vote is often across a X, which is what you would mark on a voting slip. So if we begin a word beginning AXI, and it's got to mean something, it's got to mean self-evident, axiomatic does spring to mind. So man here is I-O-M, the Isle of Man. And the ner a nervous affliction is a tick. Again, made up very carefully. 17 down, similarly, like second coffee, send out new aid. Very neat clue, that. Very meaningful. But in fact, in this case, it breaks down like is as. Second is the abbreviation S. And then coffee, and then send out new from that coffee, is instant, without the N. So that makes up assistant, which is... You know, very neatly spotted and very neatly worded by the compiler, so quite enjoyable, that one. Um, 19 down. Craftsman, seven-letter word beginning with A. I'm afraid I'm immediately thinking artisan as soon as I've seen that. And lives looks like is, with terrier at first is the T, and the Atlantic Islands are the Aran Islands off the coast of Ireland. 21 down. Hero's lover. How's your classics? You probably know Hero and Leander. Name revealed in edit editorial. That's another abbreviation that N can represent. The so name N in leader gives us Leander. 
and then on to the across clues. Now I couldn't do 22 across at this moment with just a T in it. Assist in a B movie. I was wondering if cast was involved, but couldn't see that. So I moved on to 24 across month. One catches girl from east dressing. Well, the letters in the grid now are very helpful. The month is obviously May at the start. And then you use the word one and use it to catch a girl from the east. And the girl in this case is Shan, S-I-A-N. If you write that F N A I S, i.e. you start it from the east side of the grid and you put it in one after May, you get mayonnaise, which is a dressing. So another very neat clue, dressing meaning something different from what it appeared to. 26 across a wind instrument might need some general knowledge for this one. Delivered is a four letter word for delivered and then you have to put in that a five letter word for an advantage and H for husband. The answer there is the slightly unusual Bassett horn, which is born around acid H. A 28 across I found quite hard, and I'm not going to get any extra letters after this D and A. Set back for old archbishop's double. And I was thinking of Dean as something like an archbishop, but that's not the right track. And eventually I remembered that there are two famous archbishops who fairly regularly crop up in crosswords. So I think this is former archbishops of Canterbury. And these two both pop up occasionally because their surnames are so religion related. And they are Archbishop Lord and Archbishop Temple. You do also actually see Cosmo Lang, who I think crowned our current queen. But if you put back Lord, the setback, that becomes D-U-A-L, which can mean double, dual. So a bit of general knowledge, very helpful for getting that one resolved. And it took me a little while to figure that one out. I really wanted it to be Dean or try and put Ward backwards or something like that. And uh, eventually, oh, not. Yes, I took quite a while to get dual. 29 across, um, senior officer. Let's just move this up so we can see a bit more of that. Right, sorry. Senior officer, given bill, covering case of gin and brandy. The, the case of gin is very helpful here because that's the outside of the word gin, G-N. And senior... That, if we put GN in the middle of this six letter word here with um, the C at the end, really cognacs about the only word I can think of that fits, and that's what we are looking for in this case. Senior officer is a CO, and the bill is an AC an account. Those are kind of crossword ease again, I'm afraid, but that's what gives us cognac. And then at 30 across, educate, educated liberal fuming about note. Well, literate is a synonym of educated that fits. The liberal is L, irate is fuming, and the note is T-E. 23 down, runner possibly, that's a bean, taking over the cricket abbreviation O, and party is Beano. 25 down, musical work, or given N blank N blank T, that really has to be a nonet. I, that's I meaning the Roman numeral one, must be inspired I think it's meant to say by Holy Writ. And that means that NT goes around that one to give none it. So I think there's actually a misprint in the clue there. We, the word by has been missed out. Um, 27 down, work laboriously or toil, lacking time or tea, gives you fuel or oil. And then back to 22 across, where if my cursor wasn't obscuring, it would see a B. And that was help in a B-movie, and obviously there is a word meaning help that fits that pattern, and that's a bet. So the clue is breaking down as A gives A, B gives B, and movie gives E.T., which movie was actually called E.T. the Extraterrestrial, but let's not worry about the pedantry now. And that gets us to the end of the puzzle, and a quick check to make sure that it's been done correctly. The time of 4 minutes 25 is a pretty good time for me, um, and I'm certainly happy with that. There were a couple of bits of general knowledge in there and a couple of old words, Bassett Horn, Archbishop Lord, they're not everyday things. Um, but well done if you saw some of those before I wrote the answers in, and uh, I hope it was helpful if you didn't.
thank you very much for joining us and uh, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Thanks for your time.